Approaching the final flight, coming towards it now. It's Hurricane Fly, leads by two from Country Wide Flame in second, who's rallying. Back in third as well as Rock on Ruby. Stay on up the hill. Hurricane Fly, driven out to the line. Can he regain his title? He can. The second in history. Hurricane Fly is the champion hurdler again. And he beats Rock on Ruby last year's champ. Country Wide Flame was third, followed by Zarkanda. Bit of a gap back to Binocular and Kyber Kim, who's last to finish. One hundred percent of our profits go back into racing. Let's Jack Adam now quickly asserting off the bend. The loose horse almost caused in trouble there, but he's got a four-length lead now over Val Salido, who's chased up on the outside of Fleming Star. Then Clark and Gil Gamboa. Two to jump in the John Durkin Memorial, and it is Jack Adam, the leader, chased now by Val Salido as they begin the run to the final fence. It's Jack Adam, the leader, from Val Salido in second. They've gone clear of the others. They're coming down to the final fence now in the John Durkin. And it's Jack Adam, the leader, as they come to the final fence from Val Salido. Jack Adam over. And on the run up towards the finish, it is Jack Adam, who's out in front now as they run up to the finish. And Jack Adam wins in tremendous style the John Durkin Memorial for Ruby Walsh. Second home, Val Salido, Gil Gamboa, Lemon Star is fourth. The final fence now, four on Cossack, comes towards it, measured it beautifully. Jack Adam is not going down without a fight, but Don Cossack is four lengths clear as they race on up the hill in the Tomiko Chapman Gold Cup. And Don Cossack for Jigginstown and Gordon Elliott and Brian Cooper will win the Tomiko Chapman Gold Cup of 2016. Jack Adam second for the second year running, Don Poli third. Collie for Lock Press for four fair together with the Grey Irish Cavalier. Smart place came home next. The leader, Douglas Fly, jumps the last ditch four out. Not quite so good over that. River Bandy getting much closer. Then Tory Prince third, what's in orbit four. And Lemo Pugh is a faller. And the loose horse has gone there too. But meanwhile, at the third last, Dublin Flyer over. River Bandy doesn't jump it well second. Tory Prince is third. Then what's in orbit? Lenny Agris, Western Legend, Sir Peter Lenny, Buckmore Bands, Green Hill Raffles, Bonita, Smarty Express. And Sarah J, Channels Gate and Roxton Hill but across the Melling Road with two to jump. And Man of Mystery is gone, but Dublin Fly, the leader from River Bounty, going well in second, and he has Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's a top weight Dublin Flyer, and he's got about an eight length advantage now from River Bounty. Just in behind River Bounty, what's in orbit is making significant progress with upsides him, Turin Prince. Racing down now towards the second last fence in the John Hughes. And it's still Dublin Flyer being pressed by Turin Prince. And on the inside, River Bounty, then what's in orbit? Dublin Flyer landed three clear. Racing down towards the final fence, it's Dublin Flyer. Flyer as they come to, uh, down to it at Green Hill Raffles was a faller at that one. Dublin Flyer is going to land in the lead. Dublin Flyer by two, three lengths from Turin Prince in second. In third is River Bounty racing towards the elbow. Dublin Flyer, remember his top weight, he's being pursued by Turin Prince and then River Bounty at the elbow. It's still Dublin Flyer and Brendan Powell and Dublin Flyer is holding Turin Prince. As they race towards the line, it's Dublin Flyer, the top weight wins the John Hughes Memorial Trophy chase under Brendan Powell. Second was River Tarquin and third was River Bounty. Fourth, fourth was Sabina Lilly. Doreen Prince. <laughs>